Welcome back to Real Estate in the Low Country. The Reed team is back, Andy and Tom. Thank you for being back with us. This thank is your you. first time here in uh, 2019. That's right. Yes. So, but we're going to take a look back Correct. first. Sure. So, tell us how the Reed team did in 2018. Um, it was pretty cool. Uh, we we tried some new uh, marketing ideas. Um, got it with with uh, like social media and things like that mm -hmm. with Facebook and just trying to reach a lot more people. And um, it was really. Uh, quite amazing the results that we've been able to track on that so we're we're kind of expanding that okay uh, this year um, and uh, you know our volume uh, went up um, we I think we closed in 2018 close to 40 million in, in volume so we were congratulations thank you we were we, <laughs> we, we, got, pretty good to we were busy we worked hard um, <clears throat> and uh, our team was just you know fantastic um, we, we've got a good synergy working with each other and uh, our support staffs really great too so yeah. it, it, it's it's um, you know you're always kind of you know you got to change with the times with the um, technology that's available and sure. things like that and, and it, I've, I've done this almost 22 years and it's amazing from when we started to how things have changed oh my goodness. It, it's yeah. just the information out there and and how, how you manage that and move it around and give it to uh, you know get it to your clients and potential prospects so we're always yeah. trying to stay on top of that kind of stuff yeah well I read an article recently touching back on that social media <clears throat> that only like 30 some percent of real estate agents or at least those were, that were polled are really active on social media and that shocked me because it's so integral to our lives right now so obviously that's a great thing it, to keep pushing forward it is um, and, and the, the problem is it's it's because we're not professionals in social media. So, right. you know, we've got, like I said, we, we've got a team. Um, we, we actually hire somebody to help us with that, and he's fantastic. And so, you know, for us to try to figure it out, it's not oh, going to happen. For sure. But, Me but so we, so yeah. we get professionals who know what they're doing. So yeah. You're, yeah. It, it's not as easy as it may seem, but that may be why the number's so low. Yeah, yeah. good point. So, let's talk about the overall market. Okay. Tom, tell us about that. So, uh, last year was a good year for uh, our market. Uh, uh, I got to use my readers That's to get. Okay. I, 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 I don't. Right. I don't like to <laughs> fake it. I, I, so last year we had uh, around 1,100 uh, home sales uh, on Hilton Head, which was about a 16 uh, or almost a 17 percent increase in in sales. Uh, that being said, the median home value uh, remained flat. Okay. Uh, uh, so the median value was uh, around 535,000. Uh, uh, villa sales uh, also were uh, a little over 1,100 uh, transactions, which was similar to 2017. Uh, uh, but uh, villa values actually went up; they increased almost uh, 7%. Off island uh, in Bluffton, home sales uh, were up about nine nine and a half percent, which represented, <coughs> excuse me, uh, almost 2,100. Home sales. Now that being said, that that that, that number does not include developer sales, okay. which so so, and there's a lot of development going on yeah. off yeah. island right now. Tons. So so uh, so the number is actually higher and probably is more consistent with that 17 percent increase we saw on, on the island. Sure. Uh, Medium <coughs> values were around uh, 295 uh, off island, uh, which which was flat just like uh, on the island. But as long as sales are happening, it's good for the market. Um, of course. Uh, now, one thing I do want to bring up is is the upper end of the market, which is sort of that two million and above. Uh, we went for about six years where where uh, the uh, you average about 27 uh, sales a year. Uh, that was from 2010 through 2015. Then uh, in uh, 2016. Uh, you started to see an uptick in those sales, and, and we had uh, 37 sales in 2016. In 2017, we had 41 sales, and then last year we saw a big jump to uh, 57 sales, and that's in, in all of Southern Beaufort County. And the reason that matters is uh, that that upper end of the market puts a, a ceiling on the market, and, and sales help us uh, uh, move the, the market up. So you really want to see that number increasing, which we Absolutely. are. So that's fantastic. That's right. Yeah. So I know we have a listing in their last, oh my gosh, sure, really go quickly, fast. really sure. fast, really sure. fast. <laughs> so we've got a, um, a new home listing in Long Cove uh, Club and um, uh, five Buckfield Lane. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath home. Really a cute house. Uh, it's kind of like a cottage, serene setting, lagoon view. 
uh, kind of a kitchen family room setup. Uh, it's listed for $449, and um, it's, it's just a, a really cute house that I think somebody can come in and make it their own because it, it's, it's pretty neat. All right. Well, thanks for the great information, and if you want this team working for you, make sure you call the REIT team. Thank you. Thanks, Betsy. Yeah.